against us. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors to him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Here endeth the lesson. Let us pray. Lord, welcome into your calm and peaceful kingdom those who have departed out of this present life to be with you. Grant them rest and a place with the spirits of the just and give them the life that knows no age that passes not. Amen. Almighty God, stretch forth your mighty arm to strengthen and protect the armed forces. Grant that meeting danger with courage and on all occasions with discipline and loyalty they may truly serve the cause of justice and peace. To the honour of your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Almighty God, from whom all thoughts of peace proceed, kindle, we pray, in the hearts of all, true love of peace, and guide with your pure and peaceable wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that in tranquility your kingdom may go forward, till the earth is filled with the knowledge of your love, through Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord. Grant, we beseech you, your 
blessing and give us strength to carry on our work Come down upon you and remain with you always. 